Yo, Gibby gang, stand up with your boy, and today's gonna be one of those. I have no doubt about it. We're gonna have independent artist genius, and that's what these two always bring to the table. They got my utmost respect, and they're both from Canada, so that just it just puts a double entendre into the fact that 99% of people nowadays, uh, they buy into the propaganda, and then they, they're afraid to speak on anything, and they, they don't have their own genuine form of thought, and... I know we're gonna rant about this at the end and hopefully by now y'all know my stance. I've done like 50 plus Tom McDonald reactions, but we got Dax in the building who I've always I've always liked his music and I need to dive into a whole lot more. So comment below where I need to start. But for those of y'all that may be woke, but not really aware of, of things nowadays, propaganda, the actual definition, it's a noun, information, especially of a biased or misleading nature used to promote or publicize a particular political cause or point of view. Now that doesn't mean just because you vote right, vote left, vote independent that you you buy into propaganda but that does mean that whatever they feed you if that's all you take in and you don't develop your own train of thought take a step back breathe and evaluate each situation for what it is not for what they tell you it is that's when you you're a, a propaganda sheep basically so i'm excited for this one i'm gonna play it all the way through comment below hate love do what you gotta do i know you're gonna do it anyway this ain't my job so I'm not afraid to talk politics, talk religion, talk about what I stand for as a man. But let's have a conversation about it. And that's what we'll do at the end. Subscribe, like, notification bell. You get this dope friends hoodie as well as a bunch of other things on my wife Etsy store down below. But set that over here. Let's get it popping. Just because you say it is, don't make it a fact. <laughs> Starting off as real as it gets. 110% agree. Hey, Derek. You good, bro? You ain't picking up calls, dog. What's wrong, man? Daryl, you good? Hey. Hey, Daryl. Don't lose yourself. Uh... Turn that news off. Fox, CNN, it don't matter. Turn it off. Turn it off. Go out and live. See what's really going on. Oh, Dax and Tom about to go crazy. Y'all know I got the banger shades. Come on. And all I see is propaganda. Propaganda. It ain't hard to find. It's all, all over I the place. All I see is propaganda. Propaganda. Mm. And all I see like the is beat. propaganda. Propaganda. Mm. And all I see is propaganda. Propaganda. I don't even care if that's auto tune. Whatever it is, it sounds nice. Like. Why do we fall? New Year's Eve, they've been dropping the ball. Mm. Independent, how we dead in the game. Ah. We don't write to the sound of applause. Yeah. The truth, dotted lines, ain't never signed, stood mm. and remain the boss. In a world that is full of facades, where if you speak, you get nailed to a cross. I won't be silent. I am a Ooh, spoken. hold on, hold on. And we know Jesus died for our sins, but y'all are just, y'all just being nailed to the cross and, and being afraid to speak on what you really believe. Like, nowadays, celebrities, YouTubers, whoever you want to, athletes, like, they're so afraid to speak on the issues that need to be discussed that it doesn't matter what side you come from, what you look like, who you vote for, what you who you who you lay it down with at night. None of that matters at the end of the day. You can see we all see what's going on, hopefully, except these people that, you know, are asleep and they don't really know how to form their own opinion, which is okay, hopefully you learn over time. But they're so afraid to speak that they're they're willing to just be nailed to the cross then then speak out on what needs to be speaked out against. Man, right, left, all of that at the end of the day. I know y'all see this, but that doesn't matter at the end of the day. That's okay to, to vote for who you vote for, but don't vote for them because you're being told to vote for them. Don't vote for them because you're you're being fed these, these facades on all sides. You got to gather all the information you can, take a step back, breathe, have conversations with other people, like-minded people, opposite-minded people, and then form your own take on it based on your own moral values and, and characteristics. Man, it, it's sad. It's actually sad that people are willing to literally be nailed on the cross. They're afraid to speak because they're afraid to lose their career or all the stuff that they've worked for. And a lot of the times when they do speak out, they lose that. Like, I know YouTube is blacklisted my channel. It is what it is. Again, this isn't my, my job. This is my full-time job. It's a side hustle. <sighs> Man, Dax, I respect you 100%. I know time hasn't even came on. Y'all know I got nothing but love for Tom Nova. All HOG. Y'all know it's nothing but love. 
I know this is gonna be a banger. I don't have to put these on. Let's bring it back, let's play it through, and then talk about it. I'm sure there's gonna be a million bars dropped on. I'm gonna be blown off my caboose by the end of this thing. Come on. Mm. I won't be silent. I am unspoken. Y'all must have forgot Jesus died for our sins. So you better speak up. Never break down a brain that is already broken. Every wound is a pain devotion. They fill words as I purge emotions. Scash hair as I drop. It's that bleed lied from demonic omen. The system mm. decides we down, while say. Most of our time is spent in bed. The dreams we have all stay inside. We sleep and wake and live with regret. The price of life is half the cost. The price of fame could cost you. Y'all want to see something? I'm going to talk about it. Propaganda. Is all I see is propaganda. Everything we say is racist, the love will change it, that's what happens. Y'all need balance, y'all need blacks and whites and lefts and rights to stop the madness. They planned it. Man, that image is so raw and, and, and disheartening because y'all know Tom always comes out and lays his heart on the line and he knows he can, he can be canceled at any time. Woke culture is a real deal, cancel culture is a real deal. Now I'm not coming at everybody from Black Lives Matter, everybody for just being woke. I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're completely acting a fool, you don't know what you don't know. And you don't know what you don't allow yourself to know. So I, I pray that everybody finds their way. And I'm going to dive real deep into it at the end and speak on religion, which is what I want to be defined as my religion and how I operate as a person each day. But seeing Tom dead like that, that can you imagine like the world without Tom, the world without Dax, a world without independent artists that, that didn't sign their souls away and, and don't, don't, uh, do what the label tells them to do and puppets them around. They speak on what they truly believe and they, they could care less what you say about it. And clearly it's working because a lot of people are waking up and they're seeing that, that the message that they're spreading is, is the true message and people need to wake up and start to form their own opinion and not just be fed what's on the radio, fed what's on the, on the TV and the, and the idiot box. And oh, yo, If you're watching this, I know you know what's going on. You're at least somewhat aware beyond the surface and you're not a shallow individual. Men, women, doesn't matter. Come on now. Y'all need blacks and whites and lefts and rights to stop the madness. They planned it. Mm. It's Trump or Biden, we they, all they been divided right in the streets. Elections have always been rigged. I ain't surprised when somebody cheats. All I see is pentagrams of the propaganda, but our priorities Me are back It ain't hard for wolves to find a flock when the sheep are fast asleep. Too many people like Ooh, they prowling on Too many journalists Ooh. staring you. Too Weak many mind. pencils attempting to rewrite the Constitution. They probably gonna tear it up. I love the country, but I don't trust the people taking care of us. We Help us, Lord. I know American you got a plan. We woke up in Nightmareica. Wait a second now. I'm see. I'm I'm ranting because I'm passionate about this stuff. But I just, that might be the hardest bar in the track right there. Hold on. What do you say? Something about Nightmareica. I don't trust the people taking care of us. We went to bed with the American dream. We woke up in Nightmareica. Mm. Mm. And all I see is propaganda. Mm. It really is. This world is full of. And all I see is propaganda. We're going to wake up, though. We, we we are awoke. Like, we're aware. It's like we done took 10 espresso shots, and we're good to go. You know what I'm saying? H-O-G. I don't know what, what Dax's fans are called, but I, I'm one of them, so y'all let me know. But shout out to Canada for speaking on a country and speaking on people that they're not even from that, and they stand up stronger than Americans. You know what I'm saying? The, the real pro-Americans that say they're they're all America, but be nailed to the cross, they'll be darned if they don't if they if they speak out. Like they they're not gonna risk losing all the little material possessions and things that they have just to speak on what's right, to speak on what's real. That right there, we went to bed in in, in uh, uh the land of the free, the home of the brave, the the American dream, and we literally we woke up in nightmare is is a zombie is people walking around that literally are consumed by social media, consumed by the news, consumed by fake narratives, right, left, in in the middle, way out there. Doesn't matter, like they don't have their own individual thought process, no way of critical thinking, nothing. 
the track, it wasn't nearly as aggressive aggressive at all as what I'm used to from, from hearing Todd McDonald and what I've seen from Dax up to this point. It wasn't nearly as aggressive, but it served its purpose, and I'm glad that they went about it with the approach that they did. Dax was carrying the notes, auto-tuned or not, like, you can't do it, so shh, quiet it down. Killed the game with it. The message was put at the forefront and, and spoken on how it needs to be delivered nowadays because now you can't – everybody's so soft, sensitive, and, and just – quick to get hurt quick to get hurt don't even affect them you can be black black white black i'm making up my own colors no matter what color you are at the end of the day we all bleed red and, we, and people tend to forget that and forget how to have a, a discussion like that's what needs to happen nowadays we need to have a grown-up discussion a big boy big girl type discussion what i mean by that is respect always needs to be present it doesn't matter what walk of life you come from what you've been through what you're going through what you will encounter along this life we need to have a discussion it is okay to have different beliefs god created all of us and you may not believe in god that's perfectly okay i'm just letting you know up front i'm a man of faith i'm a christian man of faith just to be exact and as, as upfront with y'all as possible i want to be transparent parent here. Everybody is, is so quick to get hurt because somebody disagrees with them. Do you forget there's billions and billions of people in this world and not, not a one of us has the same genetic DNA code? That's what makes the world beautiful. It's okay to have a differing belief. It, like, it, it would be so boring, if, and that's what it's, it's turning into with all these zombies, Nightmarica. Everybody has one belief over here. Everybody has one belief over here. There's nobody that's, they, they all think we're supposed to be alike. You know what I'm saying? I love difference. I love it, the, the beauty that this world is because we all can think different, but we've We've forgotten that. We need to get back to the point to where we, we could sit down and say, Devin, Dax, Tom, whoever's watching this video, let's have a discussion. Let's lay out why I believe what I believe. Again, speaking with respectful tones of voices, not belittling, not degrading, not judging, just up front, literally listening to other people and, and hearing their side of the story, why they believe that, what got them to that point, because they may grow up different than you. A lot of us grew up with different things, some silver spoon, some made it out the gutter. I know Dax had, has his own story where he was a janitor working, grinding, and now look at him, killing the game. Time, you know what time represents. We all have our own story. We need to learn to talk about our, our stories, what got us to the point we're in, and how to elevate, how to help each other all find success in our own right. We, th there's enough for everybody to eat. Like there's enough for all of us to munch and have a, a huge feast going on of, of nothing but greatness in this world. We forget that everybody's out for their own selfish tendencies. They're diving into sin, letting Satan completely swoop in, take over, and dominate their whole way of thinking togetherness that's what i want to be defined by i want to be defined by as a true person of faith not just a man of faith a person of faith not just saying i believe in god but walking how jesus did helping everybody sitting with the sinners eating with the sinners helping every like how can i help you jesus went to the well to the wishing well and there was people were quick to judge that woman who was uh, uh, like a former prostitute or something like that and jesus said let's let you be the first one to throw a stone let you who have not sinned be the first to throw a stone nobody threw a stone because all of us sin none of us are perfect only jesus who was nailed to the cross, died for our sins, shed blood. The blood of the lamb died to cover our sins. We forget that. We need to stop acting like we're perfect. We need to stop acting like just because we believe in something that that's the only way. Just because you say it's a fact doesn't make it a fact. Just because you say it's reality, don't make it reality. You need to open your eyes, get off the idiot box, get off the phone, stop looking for likes and, and all this attention, and really go out there and see how the world is operating. And then ask yourself, how can I help? Ask them, how can you help? Your job on this earth, the one time you're here, is to serve and be a good human being and help lift others up. And then in return, Turn, you'll, you'll learn that when you lift others up, you'll be lifted up. God will always take care of us. He'll never give us anything that we can't handle. And just because you don't get what you want, that doesn't mean God's out to get you. We just can't fathom the ultimate plan. But he has one. I truly believe that. And I'm going to hit y'all with Romans 12, verse 2 from the NIV version. I read out of the ESV and the NIV. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. To me, that first part just means don't be don't take everything as fact, what you see on the media. Question everything. Look at everything with a grain of salt and then take a step back, form your own opinion. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind, not anybody else's. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Hey man, I'm saying, if you've been lost, you've been stranded, you've been just out there butt naked in the abyss trying to find your own way, letting other people dictate your path, dive into that good book. Really meditate on, on the words in that good book and allow that to speak to you and, and allow that to move through your hands, your feet, your words, and lift other people up. We need to get back to being respectful individuals. I don't care if you're a teenager, if you're if you're a little kid watching this, like, just learn from a young age. Parents aren't raising their kids right no more. They're not raising them with, with respect. Everything is, is no holds bars. Everybody's free to do what they want. That's not the way to go. Like, there are rules and law in place 
the law should be to be a good human being. You know what I'm saying? Learn to lift other people up. Stop belittling, stop betraying, stop killing, stop acting a fool. Man, I'm passionate about this stuff and I'm not afraid to speak on it. You, YouTube can shut this down. You can shut this, you can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna still speak on who I am and what I believe in. And that's, it starts with having a discussion, having a, not a debate, a discussion, honest, open dialect between individuals on how we can get better and how we can help each other. Just cause we don't agree on religion, just cause we don't agree on politics. That doesn't mean we can't at least start with agreeing on who's great artists, who's great music and build on that from there. We have a lot more in common than we have against each other. We need to stop allowing the media to paint, paint us in, in the sides and putting us in corners and, and allowing us to battle head by head till we kill each other one by one. This is all set up. We, we got to really take a step back and, and realize what's going on here. We're not puppets. We're humans. Just because somebody's in government, don't make them better than you. Don't let them control you. It starts now, man. I love, I love Dax. I love time. Shout out to everybody who made this possible. Shout out to y'all, subscribe, like, notification bell. If you wanna rock this friend's hoodie, multiple colors, multiple sizes, I believe we got it up to 5X, t-shirt form, all of that. Show my wife some love at her Etsy store. Outside of that though, hey, I'm praying for y'all. God bless for right now, I'm gone. If you enjoy my content and wanna to continue to support the channel, I definitely, definitely encourage you to join the Patreon family. Right down below, you can access block videos, vote on weekly polls, uh, access to bonus content, whatever future things we decide to post, it'll be over on Patreon. I definitely appreciate it. Other ways to support, you can always buy me a coffee down below. Again, by no means do you have to donate through PayPal, anything like that, it goes a long way in supporting the channel. My wife and I really appreciate it. Just options for you to say that, hey, I got something from your videos, whether it's a laugh, inspiration, just watching me act a fool and you could tune out from everyday craziness of the world uh, and watching my videos. So I definitely appreciate it. Outside of that, if you're curious about what my actual job is outside of YouTube, I trade Forex. I've been doing it for years now. If that's something that interests you, you can always fill out the Google form in my description down below uh, and I'll be in touch whenever I can. I get a lot of emails. So uh, that is an option if you want to start working and making money work for you instead of always having to clock in for it. It is going to take the time. It's a skill set, a learned skill set that's been around since the 80s. Google it, look it up, seven times larger than the New York Stock Exchange. Fill out that Google form down below if you're you know, curious about how that works. And all my other links as far as DG gear, what I use, uh, what I eat, if everything you need is down below in the description as always. But for right now, I'll see y'all soon.